The use of Okta's Desktop MFA for Windows strengthens the security of a user's authentication of Windows computers. This customizable solution is designed to configure the sign-in flow into a Windows workstation. This secured sign-in flow will prompt a user for multi-factor authentication after the username and password are entered and includes an offline sign-in method that can be used in cases where an internet connection is not available. Now to configure Okta's Desktop MFA, you will need an Okta Identity Engine or Tenant. You will also need Active Directory configured and integrated within the Okta org. Your Windows workstations will have to be domain joined and be installed with the latest version of .NET. Okta Verify will also have to be installed and configured as an authenticator the workstations will require and a mobile device management or MDM solution should also be set up and available to deploy the required agent and PowerShell configuration scripts to the targeted endpoints. So let's take a look at Okta's Desktop MFA in this technical demonstration. We'll start with configuring the Okta org tenant. Now for this demonstration, Okta Desktop MFA has already been enabled and I can now configure and assign it to my users. From the admin console, we'll use the applications menu and click the Desktop MFA application. Under the general settings, you can view the unique client credentials that have been generated for the application. Under the Assignments tab, we can assign the application to individual users or groups. And in this demonstration, we're going to use our mobile workforce group that I created earlier. Now that we have the environment set up, let's move on and prepare the workstation to use this new feature. I've already deployed and configured Okta Verify with device access, and we're going to log in as Michael Perry to configure Okta Verify with an offline sign-in method. Now, as you can see here, Okta Verify has both an account option and a device access option. You'll also notice that the configuration provides Michael with a number of sign-in attempts to complete the offline sign-in method, which supports a one-time password and YubiKey. For this demonstration, we'll select the one-time password. Now this requires Okta Verify to be installed on Michael's mobile device. It's already installed, so we'll click Next and use the mobile device to add the account. We can now enter the one-time password and click Next to verify the account and complete the offline sign-in method. Let's now test out both the online and offline sign-in methods. When Michael attempts to sign in, a list of options will be offered that can be used to validate Michael's identity. When Okta Verify push notification is selected, a notification is sent to Michael's mobile device, where Okta Verify will be used to validate the identity and complete the successful authentication into the workstation. When the offline one-time password is selected, Michael can use Okta Verify on his mobile device to obtain the one-time password. And once entered, Michael again is authenticated successfully into the workstation. Okta includes a passwordless experience that can be configured for desktop MFA users. Now before applying this feature, Okta recommends enforcing user verification alongside the passwordless experience. Okta admins can require all Okta users to enable user verification for their Okta Verify accounts by adjusting the Okta Verify Authenticator and changing the user verification from Preferred to Required prior to enabling the passwordless experience. To enforce user verification for desktop MFA users, the authentication policy for desktop MFA can be configured with a rule to require biometric user verification, ensuring that security remains high and the user is validated before access to the computer is granted without a password. Once the desktop MFA policy has been configured for passwordless login and Okta Verify has been deployed and configured on the computer, you can see that instead of a password being requested, the user can simply click Sign In, followed by an Okta Verify push notification being sent to the user's mobile device to validate the user's identity without the need of a password. Now for more information about Okta's desktop MFA and other Okta device access features, please visit our website at www.okta.com.